Tulsa tells Ottawa with the Fort Worth Police Department. Uh, as we reported earlier, we are working a shooting out here. Uh, we do have Chief Noakes that has joined us on team. Uh, him and I with the other CIOs have been gathering information for each and every one of y'all. We want to give you some of the latest updates, give you some of the seriousness and concerns that we have out here. And uh, again, we thank all of our media partners for coming out. Uh, Chief will probably answer a few questions. Please be respectful as this is an active investigation. With that, I'm going to have Chief Noakes with the Fort Worth Police Department come up and give you the update. Good evening. My name is Neil Noakes. I'm the police chief here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, right now we're in the 2400 block of West Berry. At about 4 p.m. today, we received a call about a shooting at the Waterburger behind us. Officers arrived and located two victims. Both of them were transported to local hospitals. Our latest update the one male approximately 16 years old and one female approximately 17 years old were both shot. The female is still receiving treatment and we're very sad to report that the 16 year old male has been confirmed deceased. This started as a verbal altercation which turned into a physical altercation and tragically turned into a shooting. We're still very, very early in this investigation. Detectives have gathered many leads in the investigation already. From what we know so far, all parties involved, including the victims and the suspects, were students at a local high school. We do believe all the individuals knew each other, and we don't believe there's any ongoing threat to the public. Anyone with information Maybe you have video. Maybe you know some of the people who were involved. We're asking you to please call. P please reach out to us. The number is 817-392-4330. Let me say it again. 817-392-4330. This is another example of senseless, tragic violence that never had to happen. And unfortunately, it involves some very young people right here in the city of Fort Worth. We're gonna do everything we can to make sure we bring those responsible to justice. We implore you to provide any information you can that might assist with this investigation. And I can take a couple of questions. Chief, when you first heard that this involved teenagers, what, what went through your mind? First, I was mad. I'm angry. There, there is no reason for any young person, a student in high school, to lose their lives at such a young age. There is no reason for a student in high school to be carrying a gun and shooting at another student. But that anger quickly turned to sadness. We're seeing this across the country with violent crime. Unfortunately, we're seeing it right here at home in Fort Worth, Texas, and I take that personally. Were they students at Pasco High School? We're trying to confirm the school for sure. That's a possibility, but until we know for sure, we don't want to get any information out of, about the school itself. Is the shooter in custody, and if not, your message? Shooter's not in custody yet. What I will tell you, the shooter needs to know the justice will be served. We will do our jobs in cooperation with the community to make sure they are brought to justice. And what I say to the shooter is, turn yourself in. You made a bad mistake. Turn yourself in and don't make this any worse. Is there just one suspect at this point? We're trying to confirm the number of suspects, obviously at least one, but the number for sure, we'll get that information when we can confirm it. Chief, obviously there are probably other teenagers in our city carrying guns. Is there something you can say to them about conflict resolution, about making sure that they don't end up a suspect or a victim? Scoop, that's, that's a great question. It seems these days with, with some very young people, teenagers, early 20s, conflict resolution always involves a gun. The lack of importance put on human life, the sanctity of human life is staggering to me. 
What I'd say to those young people is you have so much more to live for and so do those that you might have a problem with. But whatever the conflict is, a gun's not the answer. Thank you so much for y'all coming out tonight. So it seemed like they knew each other at all. Were they together as a group and something was wrong or did it seem like? We do believe that they knew each other. As far as all the details that surrounded what brought the incident about, we'll get that confirmed and give you more information when we know. And that means that this was maybe a meetup location, like maybe there was an incident that happened at the school and they chose to come here to the Whataburger to meet up and handle the situation here versus at the high school? We don't have any in information indicating that at this point, no. Chief, you guys have been meeting a lot with all the other chiefs and violent crime has been up drastically lately. I mean, what, what's your thoughts on that? With the, such, such young people just taking such action. My thoughts again are anger about the situation, sadness about the situation, and a sense of urgency to change things. I was recently in Austin with multiple chiefs, dozens of chiefs from across Texas, talking with our lawmakers in Austin, who I can assure you understand the problem, are working with us to do everything we can to make sure the problem of violence among young people, old people, anyone, is going to be handled the way it needs to to make sure we're all safe. Chief Lester, um, do you have an opportunity to say something to parents who have teenagers who are carrying guns? What do you say to them and their responsibility to make sure that their children understand the gravity of what's happening? We've got some amazing officers at the Ford Police Department who do great work every single day. We are working day and night, 24-7, 365, to deal with the violent crime, but we cannot do it alone. Research has shown one of the greatest predictors of success in a child's life is strong family ties, strong parents, strong role models. We're asking parents, get involved in your child's life. Find out if there are issues. If your child has a weapon, reach out to us to help. Reach out to someone to actually talk to that child. Take the gun away. Families have to be involved, communities have to be involved, we have to be involved. To really stop this crime, it's gonna take all of us. Thank you, Chief. Hey, I Appreciate just wanna reiterate, 817-392-4330. Uh, if anybody has seen anything, anybody has video footage, or your witness, please call our detectives and uh, give us that useful and beneficial information. Again, thanks to all of our media partners. Uh, Thank, Thank you, you for being out here.